what's going on guys so we are officially in part two of this whole sierra project we got going on sent to post long two petters which i still unfortunately have the box and everything here i need to go put, take it to a dump or something we're going to be fixing our exhaust leak issue so i don't know if i mentioned it in the long two header video but for some reason these like little clamps right here these are not the best um the ones that come with it uh, I don't know what it is, but they're just, they're not great. And I've had people say online that they're also not great. So, so far I actually have one of these like U clamps, but unfortunately I still have leaks on every single piece of connection on the white pipe. And it's very minimal. It's not like you can hear it hissing or anything crazy, but I don't want it to be leaking. I don't know. I just don't, I want it to be completely every exhaust fume goes out the back of the truck when we get the exhaust on. But to start, we're going to go ahead and put our converter from, I'm assuming this is like three and a half inches to our three because we don't need anything crazy. We're not pushing a thousand horsepower with this truck. I don't think she'll ever be able to push a thousand, but we're gonna try to get up there. But I went ahead and got some extra clamps. Bought these clamps from Evil Energy. Uh, I don't know why I've gone back to them so many times, but I they don't seem to have any issues with their clamps. So I'm gonna try these out and see if they work. And then also to fix these leaks, because these clamps aren't exactly 100% stopping all leaks, no matter how much you crank on them. I saw on a forum a bunch of old guys talking you get this high temperature flux tape. It's like some HVAC tape that you can tape around connections and it completely seals them. They said to do the same thing, but with the exhaust. So I'm gonna give that a try. It's supposed to be able to hand up to 500 degrees. I don't think my exhaust will ever get that hot. Correct me if I'm wrong. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and give this a solvent to go ahead and stop this exhaust leak here. In the next week, we'll go get the exhaust loaded back on so we can finally hear the glorious headers with this Borla attack we got on. So. Let's dig in. Like I said, these are a lot better than the ones that I think Speed Engineering gives you. These U clamps here, um, they seem to have better pressure and just a good, I mean, just a good build. So we're gonna get our tape right here, take these apart, wrap the tape around here first, and then put this back on. And hopefully that should solve any leaking issues. y'all so we got our one here everything taped down that's on there pretty daggum tight that's one of the new evil energy clamps and it's kind of cool they even have a little logo right there but then yep we got a second one here got our third one here we got our three and a half inch one that they give you speed engineering gives you this one i clamped this bad boy down didn't feel the need to put it in here it's pretty daggum tight got our last three inch one right here and then out the back it goes i'm gonna go ahead and start it up see if there's any more leaks if not then next step is the exhaust shop oh uh, one thing that is noted is that I heard that this stuff is prone to smell kind of weird or bad, I don't know. Um, I saw in the reviews or in the forums when I looked that up to figure out how to do this, uh, they said make sure you're in a, a well-ventilated place where you're not having these fumes just kind of, you know, circulate around you. So, got the garage door open here anyway, so should be good for that, but let's go ahead and start this curl up. here off to the exhaust shop you can probably hear she sounds pretty bad still <laughs> i'm so excited to hear her all bolted up to the borla attack i'm gonna go ahead and skip to that so let's go all right y'all so we just got sierra back here and the exhaust is all done i haven't heard it yet myself i'm gonna go ahead and start it up let's get this first reaction shall we oh, i'm so excited for this Ooh. now it's nice and quiet Holy crap. <laughs> Dude, she sounds like a freaking monster, man. Oh my gosh, it's so good. <laughs> I mean, just listen to this aggressiveness. And so pretty much here, we have our white pipe here. 
comes together, goes from the four to the three, and then we have a little V clamp here. So if I ever need to disconnect and work on the truck, I can easily do that. And then it runs that back to the Borla attack muffler, and then over again, and then you saw the one in, two out tip. And like I said, man, it's just absolutely insane. Like I, <laughs> I can't get over how aggressive she sounds. Oh my gosh. So cool. And it has that like really nice, like, I guess what, ethanol smell? You know what I mean? Like some old classic cars when you walk up to them, they just smell. You're like, oh, that's just American muscle. She's starting to smell like that now because we got rid of the cats. And yeah, we just have smells deep bass.
Alrighty, you guys, that is gonna wrap it up right there. I am falling in love with this truck so much after these headers right here. And it's just, it's just the greatest thing ever, dude. Like, I get so upset whenever I had CC or across the street. We'll sit there for weeks. I'll drive her on the weekends, but you know, now that she's back and active since the Ford is under and at the dealership, I'm just, I just fallen in love with this truck like all over again. Not that I've lost it, but it just, it just boosted way up. But yeah, that's it right there. We have some speed engineering one inch seven eighths long tube headers and then we have a three inch exhaust all the way back to a borla attack muffler single and dual out tip so i absolutely love this setup um one thing i've noticed is that i guess the more horses you get the more clappy or something sounds i don't know it is a little clappy but i've seen most any like cammed or long tube header trucks they or any vehicle they just kind of have that loud like little rasp to them you know what i mean at first when i drove away i was like oh it sounds like some straight pipe nonsense but as time has gone on and i've driven this truck for the past couple weeks now i've just been loving it ever since so i don't know about you but it's growing on me and i really like it and i hope you guys do too it just sounds so freaking sick and i am just so i'm so blessed and fortunate to have such the ability to do such things and i'm glad to be able to bring you guys along for the ride on that but again, always just thank you so much for, for sticking with me and uh, getting to enjoy this girl right here with me. It's pretty freaking awesome that we get to do this and have this opportunity. And we're all doing it with our own spare hands. I don't know how to weld yet, so I haven't done the exhaust. But I'm just saying we're installing stuff and we're doing everything we can to make her better on a budget and just pretty much be like a tree shade mechanic. You know what I mean? A lot more in store for this girl, obviously. I she is nowhere near done i have so much in store for this truck and and plans to do that i just don't even know where to start sometimes but we're gonna get there one piece at a time we'll get a perfect the lord has just blessed me with such an amazing vehicle and she's been pretty reliable that, that good old gm right there boy don't mess around you know what i'm saying look at this view y'all this is great just look at this truck man just absolutely gorgeous man it's so cool how the lord provides man and just has so much beauty in nature that we get to see but yeah i'm i'm so excited to be able to uh do many more things to her especially performance wise you know we have a lot in store for that there's uh there's that borla attack paired up with some actual performance <laughs> long two petters and it's just great man i love it it looks great even the tip right here is pretty freaking fantastic uh last time i installed this tip and it kind of poked out a little bit more but now it's a bit more flush which is great and uh I'm, I'm a big fan of the new tubing and piping and all that stuff. Yeah, it looks great. Sounds awesome. And I'm just so excited for this, y'all. This is absolutely crazy that I get to do this and get to show you guys, <laughs> you know. It's this open mine area. I'm so curious about this. There's a sign back here. It says open mine area. And I'm I'm curious as like if there's like an actual like mine that's like dug down. At first I thought it meant like actual mines in the ground. <laughs> it's like... Really? <laughs> I guess they did dig down here or something and just filled up with water where it's filled itself up, but it looks pretty uh, man-made out there, if you ask me. Yeah, this is great, y'all. What a beautiful afternoon. Look at that old girl, boy. Oh my God, look at that girl right there. But yeah, guys, this is just, it's just so cool to be able to do this. I've, it's such a long childhood dream, you know? We all grew up playing like the PlayStation 2 Need for Speeds and had all the little cars and everything, the Hot Wheels, and just growing up watching videos of people like, you know, do all these kinds of things, and now it's it's feasible. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it's becoming a real thing, and I'm just so I'm just so uh, I lost for words. Just very grateful. But like I said, y'all, the Lord provides. You know, talk to Him. Prayer is a great thing, and the big part about it is, you know, you come as you are. You don't have to get perfect to come to Christ. If you didn't know that. But yeah, y'all, my faith is very important to me. And, you know, I kind of want to apologize um, slightly if, you know, if it seems a little offensive to you. But the thing is, is once you understand the truth and you feel uh, the love of Christ in you and you have that personal relationship with him because it's a relationship, not a religion, then you'll really start to feel different about how you profess Christ. And like I said, I... I don't want anyone to feel offended by it, but at the same time, it's the truth. And I just want it to be known to you guys. So like I always say, you know, God loves you and so do I. And if you ever have any questions, don't be afraid to message me on Instagram. Don't be afraid to email me. It's it's linked up in my page. Um, we can talk about anything. You know, we could talk about trucks. We could talk about Christ. 
anything you got but i appreciate seriously every single one of you i think my subscriber count is actually like one two three four so i have 1234 subscribers at this current moment and i seriously care deeply about each and every one of you exactly if you ever want to reach out and have a conversation i'm all ears but we're gonna go ahead and get this girl home but she got a little dirty here boy she got a little dirty out you it's been so long since I've given this girl a bath. Holy crap. <laughs> she needs a bath bad. But it's okay. But as always, guys, you know the deal. You can like, subscribe, do whatever you want to do. It is your choice. And God loves you. So do I. We'll see you next time, guys. Peace out.